All right, you guys. What up? What up? It's, it's cracking. All right. So you see the title of this video. You know, um, I needed. To, you know, I needed to do a live stream because I'm not about to gloat about him being being fired because he pretty much was fired. You know, a lot of people don't understand contract negotiates, especially when you work for a news television station basically if you can't come to an agreement while they negotiate with you you pretty much are removed it's pretty much a form of firing but at the end of the day jason whitlock like i said is a horrible person and that's all it comes down to i don't want to hear nothing jason whitlock has to say and like i said before if you support Jason Whitlock, then you don't support me. If you for Jason Whitlock, then you ain't for me. You ain't for black people. And that's just the bottom line. You know, and I'm just for real. Pick a side. For, you got to pick a side when it comes to Whitlock. Because like I said before, this man has been, been horrible to the black community. And as I said before, he doesn't deserve any of our respect for how he's treated us, how he threw us under the bus on numerous occasions in support of white supremacy. Now look where it got him. It appears that Fox Sport One wasn't willing to pay him what he thought he was worth for all his cooning and buck dancing. Because that's all it come down to. Like I said before, if Jason Whitlock want to be on a real, you know, if he want to be, if he want to be real, since he loved to, uh, since he loved to talk, I want to see can he really back up his points without people sitting up there kissing his ass and shit. I want to see him go on a real media outlet. You know, I want to see him talk to somebody that's not gonna sit up there and kiss his ass and try to demand respect for him when he don't deserve respect like I say the only dude that I know that got membership to the Golden Corral for real only dude I know only man I know that have fat hanging out his neck when he put on put on a hat look like his head was about to bust when he'd be wearing those fedoras and stuff you know what I'm saying so like I said, I'm glad that it happened. Now they can get Marcellus Riley next. Because I'm going to do a, a special video about Colin Kaepernick. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but I'm going to do it later on. Because I'm going to do a couple of sports videos today. Hey, man, what's, what's going on? I'm going to do a couple of sports videos today. So, you know, at the end of the day... Um, we gonna get this done because I'm gonna talk about a lot of different things today. You know, I'm gonna talk a couple of pop culture videos. I'm, of course, I'm gonna continue to talk about uh, George Floyd because that's just the, the the global topic. It really is. But yeah, man, like I said before, Jason Whitlock is a dude that's constantly has attacked black men, black women. And I just cannot understand that. But then people can't respond to him how, how they want to. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, Jason Whitlock is not old our, 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 our respect. We don't have to watch what we say to that fat motherfucker. Yeah, it is about time. Hold on. Um, yeah, there you go, bro. I just gave you a wrench, but, um, yeah, man, but like, I've been seeing this with Jason Whitlock for a while. And that's what's that. That's what like bothers me. He's done this for years where he's just attacked black men. 
He's attacked Kobe Bryant. I remember he went off on Kobe Bryant. Man, Kobe Bryant's last game where he scored 60 points was hot garbage. Oh, hold on, bro. Let me give you a wrench. Yeah, um... Yeah. For years, this dude is... I'm serious, man. This dude then attacked everybody. Any that's black, but then the white dudes, he turned he turned his head. Hold on, hold on, man. Let me give you a wrench, man. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, for years, this dude has done this, man. The man didn't go off on Don Imus when Don Imus said the nappy-headed hole stuff. He got mad at black people. He blamed it on black people. And see, the thing is with Jason Whitlock, he liked doing that shit he was doing. He liked it. He got a kick out of doing that. And then when and, and then this dude tried to come for Charlemagne when Charlemagne was right for calling Christian Leahy out for basically trying to Emmett Till. And she did try to play damsel in distress. Oh, I'm the scared white woman. They kill me with that shit. All Lonzo Ball, all, I mean, not Lonzo, all LeBar Ball said was, you gonna get what's coming to you. He didn't say, I'm gonna I'm a shoot you, I'm gonna bust a cap in your ass. Then she turned, are you threatening me? She did exactly what that white woman did. The one that basically in Central Park tried to say, oh, I'm going to tell him that it's an African-American man. And then here go the thing. She act like she's scared of the nigga. But then she walks towards him. She did the same thing that that white boy did to Doug Lewis. And guess where? Minneapolis. Then then he shot him. And then said he was scared for his. He. He. And then said he feared for his safety, but you followed the dude and you had the gun. Man, man, get out of here. But, J but, but Jason Whitlock, that's what he does. But then he talks about one of his cousins that got shot by the police. But it's all good for him to defend his cousin and say, oh, it was a cover up by the police. But then... This dude goes after LeBron. Oh, LeBron is just clout chasing. Well, Michael Jordan just said something, so is my Michael Jordan clout chasing? He been doing that. Can't stand that dude, man. He been doing that. He got a history of just attacking black men for the sake of uh for the sake of white supremacy. Or trying to, you know, play this role that he just this dude that t that he call it right down the line. Well, playing the role of the antagonistic, uh, you know, a black man and black athletes. Well, look where it got him now. So now he got to start his own stuff. Now it's so funny. I noticed that a lot of these people are now turned into YouTube, which is that's okay. YouTube is a good format. Because it has billions of subscribers. But it was funny how these how these dudes was acting like, oh, I don't care what people on YouTube say. They used to kill me. But then Stephen A. Smith and Layla Ali directly responded to me and Ticket. Now, she didn't say our names. That's fine. That's fine. Then Stephen A. Smith, he tried to sneak diss me a couple of times. He tried to sneak diss Ticket. Yeah, I see what people be saying about me. On, 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 on the internet. But your ass show, your ass show became Carl Lewis when I ran up on your ass. You got your ass up out, you got your snubble up against looking ass out of there real quick when I pulled up on you. To the point to where you hired security. But that's cool, bro. That's cool, bro. But like I said, I don't know who a bigger a bigger sellout out of Stephen A. Smith and Jason Whitlock. But, I mean, every once in a while, Stephen A. Smith snaps out a bit. 
Every once in a while, Stephen A. Smith snaps out of it. Every once in a while. Because at the end of the day, this situation, you can't even be fake about it. You can't be objective about it. You can't be none of that shit. It ain't nothing. It ain't. This is this is it's nothing for discussion. And another thing that pissed me off. Do not come on here trying to tell me this ain't about race. When everybody sees this is about race. You got global protests among black people. Black people all over the world saw what happened. Yeah, see, he knew his ass was on his way out. That's why he knew. He knew he knew his ass was on his way out. And that's funny. Fox did not feel he was what he was worth whatever he wanted. I think Stephen A. Smith after this, he may simmer down. And and here's the thing about Stephen A. Smith. Like I said, Stephen A. Smith converted when he got removed the first time. When they when they let him go and then they brought him back because he did not talk like that. He did not talk like that. Stephen A. Smith was a dude that had he we thought he was our guy. And he did a total 360. He did a total 360. He did exactly what Cynthia G did. Did a 360. Cynthia G was talking all this black empowerment and she support the black men. And then as her audience grew, then all of a sudden she just flip flop and she just started attacking black men on a regular basis. That's it. And that's exactly what Stephen A. Smith did. Stephen A. Smith had a short stint at Fox. Then he came back to ESPN. And then when he came back to ESPN, he changed this whole tune. He was not the same person because I remember Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith used to be going off. And then he just did, man, that dude just flipped. I'm talking about he just did a, I mean, a total 180. It was almost like I thought Stephen A. Smith got cloned. That's how he might have did get cloned. You never know shit. Just because they say cloning is illegal don't mean they don't be doing it. So, and well, that that's a totally different story, but we ain't going to go into that. Yeah, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I've been, I've been started like I've been on uh, Jason Whitlock. And the thing was, he used to be even worse when he was on ESPN. When he pulled that shit with the Rutgers uh, basketball team, by the way, shout out to Newark, New Jersey. When he pulled that shit where he sat up there and said, oh, black women should worry about Don Imus. They should be celebrating. We know who the real culprit is. Oh, it's hip hop. Man, like, nigga, what? No, Don Imus was the culprit because he said it. So you don't have a problem with white men calling black women nappy-headed hoes. And first of all, black men don't call black women on rap records nappy-headed hoes. Not for the most part. The funny part about it is when they use the word bitch, what makes you think that they be talking about black women? Most of these damn rappers are swirlers. They like everything but, but black women. And then the other, the other new generation of, of black rappers... It's a question if they even like women. So, and, and and so, that's the thing. That that nigga blamed us. I never liked that dude after that. And then he would come. And then here go the thing. I know he fake. Cause when he did that interview with Fred, he changed his whole tune. And it's funny, that interview would have been ugly if I had been there. That interview would have been nasty. That interview would have been, when I say that interview would have been worse than um, did the Stephen A. Smith, well, Stephen A. Smith ran from me. 
when I say Jason Whitlock, that that confrontation might have got physical. Oh, I already, man, I already just spoke on that, man. Them people was ops. I got to, man, we, we ain't, well, here's the thing. We ain't never needed them. We ain't never needed them. See, this is our time. Whether you like Vicki Dillard or not, Vicki Dillard told us, and she said, this is our time. Hey, shout out to the Super Chat. Appreciate that. Vicki Dillard said that our time is rising, and it is. We uniting all over the world. What up, man? H, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a wrench with hesitation. Because I remember that shit you said, though, about the LDBC, about you was going to slap niggas, but I didn't move on from it. But I'm going to give you, you said you, you said you cool, so I'm going to leave it alone. But yeah, um... But yeah, we all we all seen what Jason Whitlock was doing. Like I said, that dude was terrible. I just never, like I said, he just would fine. Nah, we good, we good, bro. We good, man. We good, we good. It's water under the bridge, man. We got, it's water under the bridge, H. We got bigger fish to fry. Oh yeah, my man, low, low, hold on, man. Let me give you a wrench. Let me give you a wrench. Um... Yeah, man, we got bigger fish to fry, man. We, we, I ain't even worried about that. At the end of the day, we got to unite, man, because I told you it's us against them. And, and, and good job, uh, H blowing that, that dope fiend white boy out the water in the other one. Stay on their necks, because at the end of the day, that dude don't want no smoke. That dude, that, that dude don't want no smoke. That dude probably was out, out stealing his shit and looting his shit. Well, I ain't worried about that, Stevie. I wish uh you you know how I get down. No, nah, we good, bro. It's good, man. We good. It, it, we good, bro. We good. Like I said, it's water under the bridge. We got to unite, man. Oh, man, appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. We got to unify. Like keep doing your thing, H. Stay on them fools helmet. Stay on their helmet, bro. Keep blowing their ass out the water. Like I told you, that other dude, he a mark. He a mark. Because he already ran from a fade. Dude is a mark. And, the, and that Dauphine in Chicago, he a mark too. But what he don't know is, oh, Stevie, check this out. Stevie, I'm going to be in Chicago probably at the end of the year. I ain't, I'm just going to come. I'm going to just drop out of nowhere and I'm going to be in Chicago. And I'm going I'm, I'm to check, check that dude's temperature. I'm going to check that dude's temperature, too. I'm going to check that dude's temperature, but I'm going to make a stop first. I'm going to fly somewhere else, and I'm going to make a stop. Then I'm going to come to Chicago. I'm, I, I'll let you know when I come out that way. I'll let you know, but it'll be it'll be at the end of the year. See, that's the thing. What they do with these dudes, they don't never give them the, they con, they don't never do their contracts at the same time, just in case. So now, what they gonna have to do? They gonna have to find a replacement. Oh my man, Timmy, hold on, Timmy. Let me give you a wrench. Hold on. Yeah, he gone. Yeah, he gone. Yeah, he gone. Man, he 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 coming to our. From what I heard, he coming to our territory. So he supposed to be coming. He supposed to be. He supposed to be coming. To, he supposed to be. He supposed to be coming to our territory. So he supposed to be finna um. He supposed to be about to do uh, the tube, and then he gonna do a podcast. But it's so funny, all these dudes put us down. Oh, I don't, 
I, I don't care what YouTubers say. Well, why was you responding to our videos? Why was you responding to our videos if we if if we ain't nothing? Because if if YouTube ain't nothing, why do why do ESPN have a YouTube channel? Why do uh, Fox Sports One have a YouTube channel? I've been told you dudes that they was watching our videos. Like I said, Layla Ali responded directly to me and Ticket because we called her out when she was sitting up there, you know, getting her buck 05 dance on. And she was buck dancing hard. Oh, I'm not a coon. Why do people call me a coon and not like you a coon? You were sitting up there co cooning it up, talking about Florida woman beater, but all those white boy MMA fighters that had arrest after arrest, incident after incident, you didn't say nothing. War Machine, damn, War Machine, damn near killed his girlfriend and killed the dude that was at her house. It was se several incidents with MMA fighters, and then she didn't say shit, but she kept pointing the finger at Floyd because she was feeling some kind of way because Floyd said that he was better than Muhammad Ali. But they been, she, like I said, Oh, it was a video put out about me where I was called a coon and I'm not a coon and I love people of all. Shut up. Shut up. Man, shut up. You was cooning. You was for real. You was. Then she lied on her daddy and said, oh, my daddy is too. When Oh, my daddy is 100% Team Pacquiao when Floyd was about to fight Pacquiao. And then and then Muhammad Ali's representatives came out and said, Muhammad Ali is not rooting for nobody. He said, may the best man win. Then Muhammad Ali's other daughter, she said, well, I don't have a problem with Floyd saying that. He's supposed to say it. I, well, it's like this. Whenever Jason Moistlock do his YouTube channel, I, I won't be watching. I'm not giving that dude no views. It, what, what do he have to say to us? What do he have to offer us? And I guarantee you he going to do the same shit that Jameel Hill going to do. Because you know Jameel Hill been trying to ease her way over to our side. But she still but she still be hating on black dudes, even though she married the one. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought Jamil Hill was kinda, you know, I thought she might be, you know, I thought she might be a carpet muncher. I just I I'm just telling it how it is. You know what? I'm going to talk about that later on today. I feel like I have to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, MC Light. <laughs> hey, don't. I'm going to talk about that later on today because we got to reach everybody. So we 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 do. We got to reach everybody because this is important. This is this is it right here. This is our moment of truth. So, you know. It is what it is. This our this our moment of truth. Cause I already told y'all. I already told y'all what to do. I already told y'all to tool up. I mean, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? I already told y'all what. I already told y'all was cracking, was bracking, was macking. You know, and we can't be lacking. Bars. You know what I'm saying? So. With that being said, we got to get ready. I've been ready. Because I'm, I'm going to talk about that too. That's real important. No, I, I did think she, I thought she was a borderline. I thought she was, thought she was a muncher. I kind of thought that, man, but she, I don't know. 
I thought she was a. I thought she was a. I thought she was a muncher though. I kind of, you know what I'm saying. I kind of thought that, but you know, I mean, she ain't my type. I wouldn't take her. You know, um, I told y'all, like, look, check this out. Most of y'all know what time it is. If if you like in the Bay Area, like I said, you could drive out to the hills. You could drive out to the Oakland Hills. I mean, just put a potato on your shit. Like, they got a little dirt road. They got a little dirt mountain road that, like, if you go up the Oakland Hills, it'll take you behind Castro Valley. And then if you go up the Antioch Hills, uh, like going towards Kaiser, where the new Kaiser is, they got shit over there. So you can like, ha you can make an outdoor shooting range. So for real, go practice, get your cans. If you in Las Vegas, hey, all you got to do is go to the Las Vegas Hills. Or you could go by the Prim. You go by the Prim, it's hella, in it's hella open space. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, but I got it. You know what? I'm going to call uh, Bill. I'll be talking to Bill every once in a while. But, like, I don't talk to him, like, because he be real busy and stuff. But um, I think it's important that Bill turn over the ranks to Floyd, Floyd Mayweather and Floyd is serious. Because at the end of the day, Bill ain't no boxer. He's, he's never boxed. And... It's only so much he could teach uh, Devin. He cannot teach him what Floyd could teach him. So at the end of the day, if Floyd is serious about this, then, hey, more power to him. Oh, well, I guess I was right. <laughs> I guess I guess I was right. I hey. You know, she might like a little something on the side, so I mean, you know. I mean, it's okay. She ain't my type. I'm checking on that. I'm 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 checking on that. <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 checking on that right now. Cuz I'm a um I got some shit. I got some shit coming up anyway cuz I'm gonna try to get um I'm gonna try to see if I get uh, Joey Spencer on the phone today. I'm gonna try to get him today, and I'm gonna get some other people. Well, um, they only supposed to check as far back as seven years, and then I think after eleven years, they can't do they can't do nothing about it, cause um. I'm in California. I, I'm going to do a video about gun reform in California because we finna get these gun laws in California overturned because they absurd, they're racist, and they're just utterly ridiculous. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... I'm going to talk about California gun reform like later on today because like I said, this shit in California is just... <laughs> yeah. So, if y'all knew the California uh, gun laws out here, they just absurd. They, us in, in New York is like running neck and neck on like the worst gun laws like i said but ours is like due to the black panthers and um um they just blatantly racist that's why people can't stand california oh 
Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, G. All right, you guys, I'll be back. Gotta get ready. <laughs>